What's up guys, this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In today's video, I am going to demonstrate one of the very popular software which we use in our daily life. And this software is very helpful for home users as well as technical professionals. The reason I am creating this video just because I saw so many people are using traditional software. But there is a one more software available which is completely free and which does a lot more tasks than the traditional one. And the product we are talking about is Folder Sizer. So friends, very first we'll cover traditional software which is Tree Sizer. If in case you don't know anything about Tree Sizer, then don't worry, we'll cover everything in this video. So very first open your browser and I'll guide you through from the downloading to installation as well as the review. And in the browser, simply type Tree Sizer and hit enter. You will get the very first link from the Jam software. Click on that. Once it's open, click on the free download and here is the game guys. Friends, if you look carefully here, tree sizer free. It's a free software, okay? But the fact is, it's only providing the size of the folders or files. It doesn't provide any additional feature, which is available in the tree size personal as well as the professional version. But anyways, we'll test this out. And after this, I'll demonstrate my favorite software. So this is the setup we are going to choose. Download. Okay, setup is downloaded. Show in folder and let's install this. For now, let me minimize this. Okay, accept the agreement. Next, next, create shortcut on desktop and then done. Launch tree size free now as an administrator. Friends, I have chosen the free edition, not the paid one. So in this particular uh, tree sizer application, if you check out, these are the options available. Like in uh, very left side, you will get all the folders name along with the size. And you can navigate your size based on the KB, MB, GB or the size is bigger, then you can go to the TB as well. But right now I'm going to keep it on the MB because this is more useful. And the second thing is percent. When you click on percent, it shows the percentage here and another thing is file count how many files are available in each folder allocated space size and if you have multiple drive then you can scan other drive using this option which is select directory so right now i have only c drive so i have selected that one guys just check out the look and feel okay now we'll go to the second option which is scan the scan also we have you know few of the options like expand when you click on expand it expand all the folders let me select level 2 let's expand one more level 3 it's taking some time okay so it extracted almost three level folder like like one two and three so if you click on four then we, it will expand one more like one two three and four so this is how it's extracting so here are some options available like parent folder you can just go up and up print report open if you want to open any of the file location then you can simply click on this particular folder and directly go to the open folder in views i have already shown all these things because same options are available in a home screen as well but here are the few new options which is sort by name sort by size and here is some 3d charts so if you click on that, let me maximize it. Here is a 3D chart available. So if you want, you can simply untick some of the options. Okay. Let me again tick back. So here is a 3D look. If you just move your mouse anywhere, it will give the size of that particular directory. And help option. There is nothing much. Friends, these are the options we are getting in tree size, which is our free version. So I hope you have understood what are the features we are getting in tree size free version. Now I'll show you the my favorite one, which is folder size explorer. Now click on folder size explorer website. Once you open the website, go to the download and then click on this folder size explorer. It will download the one zip file when this is downloaded open the folder and here we is our software extract
and let's install the setup. Next, next, uh, let's see everyone. Next, and installation is completed. Now close all the folders, and here is our application which is installed. Double click on that. License for non commercial user, which means this is completely free for home user. Now, guys, this is the software which I am talking about. The earlier software I have shown, which is Tree Sizer, that is fine for home user because they don't have to do much, you know, many things. But if in case you are a technical guy, then this software should be in your must have list. I'll tell you why, guys. If I see in the left side, is giving me the proper view of my computer, like my uh, user folders as well as C drive, D drive or any pen drive if you connected, it will show all the drives here in the left side. And in the right side, so let's say you have connect, clicked on downloads button, then it will show all the files folders available in the download folder along with the size, size also you can validate in bytes, kilobytes, you can see the size is getting changed here, megabytes, gigabytes, TB, let me keep it on MB. Now if you want to delete anything, you simply click on recycle button it will delete all the data from that particular directory now if you go back to here let me maximize this now if i click on md5 then it is gives the hash value which means if you want to check hash value of any of the uh, exe file or folder then this is the best software because you don't have to run any third party tool or uh, any uh, script to get the hash value it shows the hash value of md5 sha1 SHA-256 and SHA-512 you just simply have to select those SHA value options and if you want to rearrange any of the file you can simply do that by drag and drop now let me untick this option some panel if you click on any of the file then it will show all the files available inside that particular folder so this is also one of the very interesting feature let me remove this now what is the next option show file count if you uh, right now I have unticked this option and if you select this it shows how many files are available inside this browser folder so in browser folder there are two files available so let's check it out double click and here is my two file let's go back similar way it's showing the four files are available double click and here are the four files now let me click on this for show folder icon if I click on folder let's create one folder inside this folder is created now go back it's showing one folder isn't it interesting now let's go back to our c drive windows here you can simply arrange with the size name file size and the folder size whatever the criteria you want to apply you can apply and sort all the options which is available so my winsx folder is containing very large number of files as well as if I go to the software distribution, it contains almost 19 MB of data. So if you want, you can delete the data. The size is very low. So right now I don't want to delete anything. But yeah, if you want, you can take action as per your convenience or requirement. And now friends, if you want this particular data to be exported, you can do so by using this CSV option. Additionally, if you have you know applied any of the criteria like uh, md5 and uh, some more uh, data like uh, show files folders okay you can save your current selection by just clicking on this save column order okay so the next time you will open your uh, this particular application it will show in that particular format now if you want you can go to the you know search bar to search anything now if you want you can just select this particular option give the file name here like test and here you will have the couple of criteria like when the uh, file is modified created or access okay you can save the after before or on and select the date so that accordingly your file will be searched across your this particular directory or if you choose some c drive or this pc your search result will be shown after scanning your entire pc and one very important option is this show hidden folders and files so if you select this it will show all the hidden files which is not available in our uh, tree sizer and guys this is completely free okay so anyone can use this software in their machine friends 
this is very lightweight software and i'll recommend to use this software in your machine so friends that's it in this video i hope you have found this video useful i believe you all guys will love this folder size explorer software for sure and now friend very important if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye